I will be using. Um, this is a food grade silicone enema bag. Um, it's clear so that you can see the liquid as it's um, going down into your rectum. This is the tube. Um, this is going to be your release clamp and your clinch clamp. Um, and then the end comes pre-made. Again, I'm gonna add all of these under the video, the links to where to buy all this stuff. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It's about, it's about two and a half inch long uh, silicone flexible tip. So it's way better than those super like rigid plastic ones, which I definitely didn't want to use. Okay, and then I'm also using this, which is certified organic um, enema specifically, or coffee, sorry, <laughs> coffee for coffee enemas um, from the same company that I got my enema bag from. I'll do a little recap at the end. So, okay guys, we are beginning. Okay, so I just showed you the intro. So now it's time to lube up the tip. Um, so I'm just using, let me show you over here. I'm using Dr. Bronner's Organic Virgin Coconut Oil as a lubricant. So you're just gonna make sure you wash your hands before you do this because you don't want any germs and bacteria. Um, so you're gonna lube up the tip however much coconut oil that you want to feel comfortable. Um, so you're gonna wanna lube up until, pretty much until here. You're gonna be inserting um, just about, I would say this is like almost three inches um, until about here. And again, this is the first time I am doing this. And the reason I'm filming this for you guys is because I want you guys to see um, the real, Way of doing this and not someone telling you how to do it after they've done it you know 50 times this is just based on what I've read about it and what I've learned about it um, so yeah so preparing this the coffee is already in my line um, up until the clamp so I'm trying to figure out I have to unclamp it to get the coffee to go you don't want to get air in there so I'm gonna release the coffee into the toilet I hope this is gonna work oh that comes out super quick holy beluga <laughs> oh my god okay note to self do not fully open the clamp because you will feel an explosion of coffee into your rectum <laughs> Oh my god, okay. So, it's done. As you can see, the coffee is now into the tip. So there is no air. I see tiny little bubbles here. I'm wondering if I should like maybe move this clamp. Yeah, I'm gonna try to do that. I'm gonna move the, oh f I just got coffee all over the bathroom wall. Oh boy. Yeah, don't mind me. Um, <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> so I moved the clamp down. Note to self, move the clamp down before <laughs> you fill the entire thing with coffee. Something to note for next time. Okay, so, um, yeah. I just got coffee all over the wall next to my toilet. It's okay. There's always gonna be some issues the first time, right? Okay, so we're going to lie on our right side because the right side, don't mind my dog, is where the liver is and a lot of people just find more comfort laying on one side during an enema versus laying straight on your back. So while I take my undies off and prepare myself, I will pause this video. Okay, so the hard part, I'm assuming, is getting this thing up your butt and 
releasing the clamp so that you do not create a Niagara Falls of coffee. This is the worst part for me because I have like hemorrhoids and I deal with some anal fissures and awesome butt problems like that. So I hate anything going near or in my butt, which is why I don't appreciate going to hydrotherapy colonics or things like this, but you gotta do it. You gotta release those toxins from your liver. Okay, I can do this. Okay, this is kind of hard doing by yourself with a towel. Okay, let's see if I can do this without flashing y'all on camera. How do you even find your butt opening? Okay, so, in what way is it supposed to face? This looks really funny. I think I need some more lube. Whoa, that feels so weird, guys. You should probably feel this is really weird to watch. <laughs> well, gotta wear my Mickey shirt to make this all less awkward. <laughs> okay, so I kind of don't see, I don't really know like how far it's in my butt. So let's just assume that it's in the right position. Oh gosh, let's unleash the gates. Of coffee enema. Okay, hold on. I gotta like pull my thing up a little. Don't wanna flash everybody. Okay. I'm scared. Okay, so I'm just gonna release. Oh gosh. Oh, too much. Okay. 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 It's going in! Oh my god, feels really weird. Oh my god, feels like I'm pooping backwards. It doesn't hurt, so that's a good thing. And remember, if it's getting too much, clamp that. Clamp it off. Don't let it keep going in there. And you don't have to do the whole bag. I did four cups, but I'm probably only going to put like... Oh my god. I already did the whole bag. Oh my god, that went in so quick. <laughs> what the heck? Holy crap. I'm so proud of myself. First time. Four cups. Actually, I that's not true. I release a lot into the toilet before, you know, when I was sort of getting the air out. So, okay, so now that's it. I'm done. Oh gosh. Where's the clamp? Okay. Oh. Okay. Clamping. Okay, it's clamped. Whoop, whoop. Done. Okay, so now I'm gonna easily pull out gently. Clench your butt cheeks because you don't want to like explode coffee all over the bathroom. Okay, clenching. Hold on, I'm removing it. Ooh, it feels so weird. Okay. Oh, I don't know how anyone likes things up their butt. Almost out. Ah, oh, the tip feels so weird coming out. Okay, okay, okay. Oh no! Oops. Okay, note to self, clench your butt cheeks <laughs> really hard when you're pulling it out because I just sort of released some coffee from my butt while I was pulling it out. Okay, so the hard part is done. I'm clenching my butt real good right now, making sure that this coffee doesn't just go like pfft. So the idea is to lay on your right side for 15, 10, 5, 15 minutes and clenching it the whole time. You can read, you can meditate, you can watch a movie, whatever you want. Lighter, like my stomach is already like way less bloated than it was. But I also wanted to come on here and say, while you're on here, you can massage down while you are sitting here. And you're going to, this is an awful angle, sorry. You're gonna push down and just sort of release, massage in circles, that lower belly area just because you want to sort of break up any more stagnation that's in there. And once you feel like you have everything out, you can shower, feel great. You gotta do it. You gotta end your enema. And we and we dance. Hey guys, okay, I'm back. It's done. Did the enema. 
cleaned all of my stuff, it's all drying, and I just wanted to come on here, sort of wrap it all up. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it was a little awkward at times to watch, um, but I wanted to show you that genuine realness of what happens when you do an enema, especially since it was my first time. And I hope it's inspired you guys and showed you guys that it's really not as intimidating as people think. Um, and again, like I am the, I am like the last person that wants something in there, but trust me, I, like I said in the video, like I've suffered from a lot of butt history issues um, and I just, I can't have anything near in my butt. So with that said, I hope that gives you a little bit of comfort knowing um, that this was actually a lot easier than I expected. Hope this helped and encourage you, you can do this. And let me know, I'm here for you. In